All right, we are going to test out the new damage model while we're waiting for the website to come up. So, if you didn't know, um, let me show you real quick, just because people get confused and say that I'm not actually on the new build. Uh, you can go download the updates before the website even comes up. And anything you download, if you can select it on test drive, well, you've got the new updates. So, we are going to go run into some stuff. Uh, first of all... Let's, uh... Just test out a wall scrape. Get up to speed. I might do it on purpose or accident. We'll see. Get some force feedback. I just loaded up the iRacing default set since everything under the car changed drastically. From there. Alright, 0x. Let's go see what the damage did. That should be no damage at all. Make sure we didn't lose any RPMs for some stupid reason. But watching how these new cars get away with wall scrapes, I mean, it's still putting a absurd amount of scrape on the side of the car. Uh, it looks like it has... Has it bent things? It's hard to tell with this line, with the lines of the car. It looks like it bent the splitter, or not the splitter, but the side skirt. It's actually like morphed everything up from that tiny, tiny hit. And also maybe pushed in this bit. So, um, terrible still. Let's just do this. Let's see what a 20 mile an hour impact does. Well, at least we're not down on RPM. Should have the front end caved in with just an instant stop like that. Yeah, see, this is this is what sucks about the new damage model is it's all pre-generated. So it looks like we've hit a pole when we've hit a flat surface. Um, I mean, I get that doing anything that isn't pre-generated is going to cost a lot. But why, why is it dented in like that? That just doesn't make any any sense whatsoever. So let's go ahead and fly around and try to have a big one. In all by ourselves, it's going to be hard to knock a wheel off, but... Holy shit, that did not turn. Let's go ahead and... Just... Is he going to tuck under and flip us? Because that'd be pretty damn awesome. Honestly, it doesn't feel like the, the wheels are messed damage. up. We've got to fix it. And look at that. We still have RPM after all that. Oh yeah, there's something broken. Right front's broken. The hood. You see everything on the right side flapping around. Let's see if we can get this back to the pits. And uh, see what the damage clock shows. Hopefully we don't have IndyCar damage repair where we can get all this fixed in two seconds. I don't know why I'm worried 
about speeding. This probably won't even try to fix the damage and just give us a fresh car. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Oh, it didn't stop. Turns out when you only have three brakes, it doesn't stop very well. So eight required, four and a half optional. That is decent. Here's, again, this. Them and their freaking roof scrapes that you get from... Like, Alright, so, we have scraped up the roof massively, except for uh, the... Uh, what the fuck are those called? I've already forgotten. Roof flaps. So how did we scape, scrape this roof up? From a front end hit. I like it looks so stupid. Like maybe that's supposed to be oil and crap coming off the engine. The body movements around the car look great. Let's see if we can knock off a fender. That won't work. We're still getting our repairs. Go, 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 go! See what we can do with uh, knocking off parts of the car. So it looks like you're going to be able to screw up your right front pretty easy with a hit. I mean, yeah, those hits were pretty damn hard. Um, let's check out the rear end damage. was we were still at 2,000 RPM after that. Rear end damage looks realistic. I mean, yeah, we hit that a ton. There's no give in this car either. If you've watched real life, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Um, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of dissipation of energy in a wreck. All right, let's uh, see what running into the wall all the way around the corner does. Okay, we didn't do any suspension damage, so that's good. Although, as quick as we're going, we probably should. It screw up the front end. 
looks like something might be a little off, but it's not the race ending. That time we got the rear end in there first. Well, look at that. You've got some damage After all of that, that, and we've still got full power. Let's see if I can even get to the point where... Yeah, I mean, I think... I think we're not going to run into any power issues. I'm hopeful. But let's just straight up try to blow the engine on this thing head first a hundred and whatever looks like your car is towed you'll need to tow back to pit lane Okay. Press and hold the reset button, and then we'll come and get you. You know what? It's fine if they don't have engine damage anymore, because they were never doing the engine damage right at all. Seems like the biggest thing that you're going to have to worry about is uh, keeping that right front on. But we're still 2,000 RPM. The uh, right front might be completely gone. Clearly, you can't bottom this thing out and can just drive through it. At this point, I don't think we should be able to uh, get very far. Yeah, so. We. No engine damage. We'll have to see how it works out in races online. Right here. Hey, we knocked off the nose. Knocked off the nose a while ago. Um, because maybe with the prediction code, maybe a car goes through an area and hits the engine, and then that is what causes engine damage. You know what? I'm fine, though. I'm fine with being able to drive away from that because it's better than losing power over a tiny hit. I can handle that. Because this is still going to take like 10 minutes, 20 minutes to repair. Maybe the vibrations are not strong enough and the floor isn't draggy enough to slow us down. We've got some weird shadowing as well right now on the front end. Really weird shadowing going on there. Especially since it's still put in the shadow of the entire splitter there that doesn't appear to actually be there anymore. Or maybe it's underground. No, it's not there anymore. But there's still a shadow. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's the new damage model. Like, the collision box is going to be better. Um, you know what? I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 just because we're not getting stupid engine damage anymore. Unless it's just an online thing. But, uh... It's still got all the same annoying issues that the new damage model has. Like... The scraped up roof, uh, apparently a shadow that's still there from a splitter that's no longer 
the Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge circles and triangles. But overall, it's an improvement. Um, hopefully, I don't know. Guess we'll uh, we'll see how it does online. Is the biggest biggest thing is what happens when it interacts with other cars, which it should do the best at because we've seen when prediction code works right, we've seen that it it does good things. So there's your little preview, and uh, hope you enjoy the new build.